Hello children. I hope you have enjoyed your previous lessons. And in today's lesson, we will be discussing writing replies. And the competency of our lesson is uses English innovatively and creatively in written communication. And the competency level 7.3 is writes for personal purposes. The objective of the lesson is at the end of the lesson the students will be able to write replies to notes accepting them. So now you understand by the end of our lesson you will be writing replies to notes and they will be to accept them. All right. So before we start the lesson, I would like to show you a dialogue. Let's look at the screen. All right. This is a dialogue between Subha and her mother. They both have a conversation. Let's read and see what they talk about. Mother, mother. Why? What's up? A note from Priya. What is it about? She wants me to join her to see the book exhibition. Do you want to? Of course I want. Then why don't you say so? Oh, thanks mother. I'll do it right now. All right students. In this conversation, you noticed that Subha and her mother were talking about a note. She has received a note from her friend Priya. I know that you are eagerly waiting to see what Priya has written. So let us go to the next slide and see what Priya has written in her note. She has written it on the 24th of May 2020 and she says, Subha, I'm going to see the book exhibition tomorrow. Please join me to see it. Come to the bus stop at 10 a.m. Priya. So it, you see, it is a very simple note that Priya has written to Subha. And as you know in the conversation Subha has got her mother's permission and Subha is also willing to go to see the exhibition. And do you want to see what Subha will write? Of course you know that Subha is going to accept the invitation. In the lesson earlier, when I started, I said, you will be learning to write to accept invitations. And now we see how Subha does it. Right. Look, Subha has written the date. Yes, let's see what Subha writes next. Then you see, she has written the name of the receiver. As you remember earlier, Priya wrote a note to Subha and now Subha is replying to the note. And so she wrote the receiver's name there. I see that Subha is writing something more. And let's see it on the screen. Okay. She says, I will come tomorrow. My mother gave me permission. Yes, in the conversation, you saw Subha got her mother's permission and she's very happy to mention that in the note. Let's meet at the bus stop at 10 a.m. You remember that Priya asked Subha to meet her at the bus stop. And here Subha mentions that she will meet her at the same destination. All right. And then she has 
completed her note Subha. My dear children, do you think that uh, Subha has included everything what should be in a note? What I think is that something is lacking here. I think that Subha should thank the person who invited her. You know, thanking someone for an invitation, it's a polite thing. We should always know to thank when you accept an invitation. Even if you don't accept it, you always should thank the person who invited you. And let's see whether Subha has done it. Okay, good girl. She has said, Priya, thank you very much for asking me to join you. So my dear children, always remember when you start to write a reply to a note, start with a thank you. This can be said in many ways. This is one format that I show you. And let's see what we are going to do next. Here you have some expressions. These expressions are really useful when you write a note. Maybe you can take down in your notebooks because it's going to help you every time you write a reply to a note. And here we see Please join me to see it. Why don't you join us? Please come to see our sports meet. I'm sure you'd love it. Let's go together. Don't forget our year-end party. We are looking forward to see you. Hope you wouldn't miss it. See you at the party. So my dear children, these are some expressions that we usually write when we write a note. If you have taken down them, we can move on to the next activity. Let's read the note first. This note is written on the 23rd of May and the receiver is Rohan. Sitija is inviting him to go on a trip to Hikkadwa on Saturday. And then he also mentions about two friends who have promised to come and then he warns Rohan to join and he asks the question how about you do you like to come please let me know as soon as possible so my dear students in this note there are two questions that you have to focus and now let's read the instruction of this note. Imagine you are Rohan and you received the following note from Sitija. Write a reply accepting the invitation. Right? You are Rohan. Children, imagine that you are Rohan. You have been invited by Sitija and you have to accept the invitation. So my dear students, as I told you earlier, there are certain points that you have to remember before you write the note. Of course, as you have done in your previous lessons, it's very important to write the date when you reply and also you have to write the receiver's name. And then there is one very important point I hope that you haven't forgotten it so soon. Yes, you have to thank the person who has invited you. And then I told you about two questions in the note that you received. So those questions have to be answered. And then you can complete your note and write your name. Okay? Right, so let's see whether you have written something. Now I told you, you can thank in various ways. Now here we have three expressions. Thanks for inviting me. Thanks for asking me to join you. Thanks for the message. According to the note, 
the way you think will differ. But here, what you are going to do is to accept the invitation. I have given you a clear idea what are the points that you have to include in your note. All right? Okay. Let's go to the next slide. Look at the first one. Here are some interesting expressions. Now first you say, Rohan has thanked for his invitation that he received and now he has to continue writing his note. Okay? So he can use one of these expressions such as, I like to join you, I want to join you, I'd like to come with you, I would like to join you. So can you remember in the note it was mentioned, do you like to come or would you like to join? So remember the question and according to the question, choose your answer from here. Okay, my dear students? Right. Let's see. We can just get back to the note that Rohan actually received and then you can choose an answer for it. Here you see, how about you? So the friend Sithija wants to know whether Rohan would like to join or not. So as this is a reply on accepting invitations, it will definitely be that he is going to join. But we should see the suitable answer. And then there is another question. Do you like to come? Right? So we have to keep these two main points and then develop our note. Let's go to the next slide which we discussed just now. Right. So I hope you have the answers for those two questions. It doesn't have to be only these. You will have questions to ask. Maybe the information in the note is not sufficient enough for you to accept the invitation. So these questions are also possible questions that you can include in a note. When are you leaving? Please tell me the time you hope to leave. How can I join you? Where shall we meet? Okay, a note can be in different ways. So if you want to know more information and you are going to accept the invitation, for sure you will have questions. Alright students, shall we move to the next slide now? Now you can see whether your note is similar to this. My dear students, it doesn't have to be exactly the same answer because students thinking ability is very good. So let's see. You have the date as I told you and it's uh, written to Sitija because the receiver is Sitija and because uh, Sitija is the one who wrote the note earlier. And then as you remember I told you always you have to thank the person who has invited you. That is an act of courtesy, my dear students. I'd like to join you. Where shall we meet? Please tell me. And then Rohan, it's a short and sweet note which you have all the information included. And there is another important point, students, that I would like to share. When we speak about invitation, you will not directly have the word invitation. But it will be there somewhere in the note given. Now, for example, you see, Siti just said, would you like to join us? So that expression is an invitation. So do not think that you have to have the word invitation. Okay, now let's practice another type of note. Just go through this, my dear students. Before I say something about this, I would like you to read this and you also can take down any note that you think that will be very important for you. Yes. Now this is a bit of a different invitation. In this, we have guideline A 
and guideline B. And so what are we going to do about these guidelines? Shall we read the instruction first? Imagine that you receive the following note, write a reply including the following. So in the first guideline it's, to it's told say that you want to join the class and in the second one there are three things that you have to consider. It's about the fees, the day and the time. So when you write the reply you should include these guidelines when you accept this note. So now it is time for you my dear children to read the invitation by Kavini and you see this is written to Amma. Now you can start writing a reply because it's your time now to start learning. Remember the tips I gave you? Remember the instructions that I gave you and start writing. All right, I hope that you are ready now. Now, to start the guidelines, the answers for the guidelines, some of you would have found it difficult. So, to help you with that, I have these expressions. Please tell me about, please tell me about the, what? Please tell me about the class. Please tell me about the date. Please tell me about the fees. So it can be anything. And then there is another way of saying it. I want to know about. Because a certain thing can be said in many ways. And the third one is can you tell me about the. So this is something new to use the guideline and ask questions. That's why I showed you this slide. So it may help you to continue writing your note. Did you get me clearly my dear students? Alright. If you have not understood, when we follow the other slides, you are definitely going to learn it very well. So let's move to the next slide now. Okay my dear students. So this is a sample note that I have written for you to see and in this you observe whether the guidelines are given or not or whether they are included here. You remember the guidelines that you were given under the instructions and here as I told you earlier you have the date then you have the receiver's name and then you have the thank you and then you are accepting it because it is asking you to accept the note. So then you should say whether you are joining it or not. And that's why here you see Amma says of course I want to join the class. And then she is asking what about the class fee? And then on what days do we have classes and what time? So you have to be very careful when guidelines are given. So always remember how you should follow guidelines and then write a very simple note like this. So now I'm sure that now you are very good in writing a note. So let's do some further practices. Here are some different guidelines, different inst instructions and then another note. The format of the note is same. But shall we read the instructions now? Yes. Imagine you are Sanu. Now you have to play the role of Sanu. You receive the following note from Izuri and then write a reply accepting the invitation. So we should know what is the invitation about. Before reading the guidelines, let's go through the note. 27th May 2020, Sanu. My father wants to take us on a trip this weekend. We hope to go to the hills by train. Do you like to come? 
tell me as soon as possible as we have to book the tickets. So, in the instruction above, it's told you to be Sanu and accept the invitation. So, you know what you should do. But before that, they have also asked certain things from you. They are when they hope to leave, how many days they hope to spend there and what you have to take with you. So, there are three very important things that you are going to ask after you accept the invitation. Remember the date, the receiver's name, of course please thank and then accept the invitation and now think about the three instructions given in the note. All right? Right. What is this now? These are some expressions that I would like to give you for the students who really find it difficult to start or to develop your note. My dear students, the first expression, I like to join the trip. Yes, you should accept the invitation and it can be said like this. But now, do you think that when you start in such a way, it's correct? Yes, of course, it's correct. But something is lacking in this. What do you think? I know what is lacking in this. And I'm sure that you also know. What did I tell you? You should always thank the person who invited you. Before accepting it, you have to thank. But now, we have already accepted. So, where are we going to thank? Let's see. And thank you for inviting me. So, my dear students, don't panic if you have already started writing your note in an examination and you have forgotten to write a thank you, you can just add and and thank you for inviting me. Okay? Right, my students. Now, let's see. Here is the reply. And you see, Isuri say, I would like to join the trip and thank you very much for inviting me. And then, remember, there were guidelines given. How many days? Will you spend there? When do you hope to leave? And please tell me, what should I take with me? Sanu. I hope my dear students, that very clear instructions were given to you on how to accept the invitation and write a reply. And remember the date, the receiver and your thank you and saying whether you are joining or not. And any guidelines, if they are given to include or if there are any questions, you should answer them. And then do not forget to write your name at the bottom. And I hope I have made this lesson very interesting to you. Until I meet you with another very interesting lesson. Thank you and God bless you all my dear students.